Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Not only is February Black History Month, but it is also Heart Month, the time where we remember that heart disease is one of the leading causes of death in women. Here to give us more information to help us stay on top of our heart health is the good Dr. Dave. Hey, hey, hey. hey. All right. Hey. Good morning, hey. ladies. Good to have you back. Great to be here. Yes. yes. Dr. Absolutely. Dave, yes. I mean, every time you come down here, you just look so amazing. Thank you, Rich. love. Thank you, love. I do it for y'all. Yeah. I, you know, I do it for the culture. Do it for the culture. You know what I mean? Good people, let us know what you think about <laughs> Dr. Dave. <laughs> well, let us nice. know what you think about this coronavirus that uh, yes. 11 Freaking cases in the U.S. How concerned should we be? We, we should not be. I know it's very scary. Coronavirus has been known for a long time. It causes common colds. This is a new one. They call it novel. Um, there are 11 cases so far in the United States. Let me give you a comparison. There are 20 million cases of flu. There are 10,000 deaths from flu. Which one is the, the more concerning? Right. One? You know, it's really just as scary of yet. because as of yet, as of yet, it's new. As of yet, as of yet. But again, the numbers speak. You really have to be in contact with somebody who's traveled to Wuhan, China, which is where it originated. We think. Do in, you in really a market. believe that people got this disease from eating bat soup? I'm not sure where they got it from. Whatever it is, it's I've gnarly. Read, I've been reading articles, and the, the, the yeah. bats, they have bats in soup. Yeah, well, no, I don't know about that. Okay. But. I said, there's <laughs> articles out there. Yeah, you got to be careful with those. <laughs> right, articles. right, right. <laughs> so we, we know that there is no shot like the yeah. like the flu shot. Yeah. So what can we do to protect ourselves from the coronavirus, from the um, COVID-45 it's, it's, it's a virus. <laughs> it's a virus. So the same stuff that we tell everybody. Keep your hands out of your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands with soap and water. That's flu, that's cold, that's yeah. corona. That's right. sanitary. That's Just don't wash your hands with soap wash and water. Wash your nasty hands. Right. Let's true. get to the that's heart true. health, Ms. Cora. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So let's talk heart health. What causes it? What exactly yeah. causes heart health? You know, so that's, a, that's an interesting. There are two big categories. One is genetics, right? Heart disease. Heart yeah. disease, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's genetics. And then there is lifestyle. And for people of color, there's a lot of both, mm -hmm. right? But it doesn't have a face. It doesn't look like something, right? How many times have I flipped through the last six months social media and seen some relatively young person mm -hmm. who somebody's saying RIP, rest in power, rest in, and they looked completely normal, mm -hmm. but had heart disease that killed mm -hmm. them. Yeah. So it doesn't have a face and you can't tell just by looking at What somebody. causes it? Um, so there are a number, there are different kinds. And, and um, so there are different, um, causes. The main cause for black folks is high blood pressure, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. High blood pressure takes out more black folks than any other form of heart disease. The second commonest for black folks, people of color, is coronary artery disease. So, so plaque in an artery that mm -hmm. either goes to your brain, causes a stroke, or in the heart. Um, but there are other forms, right? So we know that there's many forms, right? Tony had a d totally different form mm -hmm. of heart disease, right? Star Jones, yet another different uh, uh, form of heart disease and so there's different ones mm -hmm. Queen Latifah's mom yet a mm. third form of heart disease so it looks very different in people who you can't really tell right. looking why at why are women especially black women leading as far as heart disease yeah. yeah yeah you know and we've hit on this before but I it's I'm just gonna give you the dr. Dave I'm not gonna give you the party line that they teach me at the American College it is you put everybody first mm -hmm. every time Mm -hmm. before you. You're not taking care of yourself. You will put the laundry mm -hmm. in general. I'm not speaking mm -hmm. to you, you ladies, but you will put the no, laundry we've done it. We've done it. right mm -hmm. before you put your health and you will, you know, make somebody millions of dollars at a job and then won't go pay $75 for a copay to get yourself screened and checked out. Yeah. And yeah. so time out for that. You don't have to snatch our edge just like that. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. I love y'all, though. Right. It's tough love yes. coming from Dr. Day. What, what, what can we do to protect ourselves from heart disease? Yeah, so um, I, I love that question because we get a lot of negative, demotivating you know, stats and stuff in, in, in February. Um, I want you to eat a particular kind of diet. And we talked about diets before, but the anti-inflammatory diet is the most important. Two things to hone in on, turmeric, and omega-3 oils. Now, everybody who is a vegan is saying, I don't really eat um, you know, fish. You don't have to eat salmon, tuna, or mackerel. You can eat what salmon, tuna, and mackerel eat, which is algae and seaweed. So there are different forms of supplemental oh, wow, algae. Okay. You can eat seaweed. My five-year-old loves seaweed. The second one is you've got to have a stress maintenance routine. Mm -hmm. You've got to be able to meditate. You've got to be able to exercise. And then the third one, you've got to go to sleep. I know everybody thinks, you know, I'll sleep when I'm gone. But you don't know how good you can feel until you get about seven hours of sleep. Seven mm -hmm. hours is really the key. And what would you say to women who are not familiar with heart disease? Um, one thing, go get 
screened. Go get checked. Yeah. Let me help you get familiar with it. Let me do the investigation. Right. And we'll uh, we'll all be better for that. Well, Dr. Dave is going to stick around and show Trina how to save lives we'll with save CPR lives. training. Right after this. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are joined by the dapper Dr. Dave, and we are continuing on with the conversation about heart health. Yeah. So, Dr. Dave, you're going to teach us how to perform CPR. Yeah. Now, I watch a lot of movies. Yes. And they're always talking about the Heimlich remover, Heimlich uh, yeah. maneuver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I get it's it. removing the, the stuff that's in your, that's you know, right. your throat. The Heimlich maneuver so, remover. Yes, yes. Uh, but how, I mean, does it really work? The Heimlich does work if you do it right, and mm. that's so that's the thing, right? If you do these these procedures right, you can save somebody's life. Um, and so when it comes to cardiac arrest, sudden cardiac arrest kills a lot of people, mm. most often in their own homes. It's not like some you know movie like on ER or whatever, and you're in the hospital only. Most people have arrest in their own home. Uh, cardiac arrest is when the heart just stops, is what the name says, and it happens suddenly. We have to be able to really pay attention to that, and so. The, the key here is that minutes matter. If the brain goes without real good blood flow, because mm. the heart's not pumping, for five minutes you have irreversible damage. Mm. But you've got five minutes. So the, there, there are four keys I want you to be thinking about. Ooh, the okay. first one. But before we get to the keys. Yeah. We got a little, we got a little thing, got thing here. We do have a little thing. Okay, so what's the first thing we have to do? Well, it's to, to recognize the thing, as you've already said. <laughs> Okay, um, but the first thing is that to recognize it itself, right? So you recognize that somebody has suddenly lost consciousness, they collapse, and they are not responsive. We use the mm. word unresponsive. That means they're not coughing, they're not choking, they mm. are not talking, they are not singing, mumbling. If they're doing any of that, they haven't had cardiac arrest. Okay. So once you realize that, the second thing for you to do is point to somebody and say, call 911. So the second thing is, Get 911 there immediately. Mm -hmm. The third thing, really quickly, is to figure out if the person has a pulse. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to be focusing on on yourself, Trina, is in the angle of the jaw, right in here, get your finger in there and push into the middle of your neck, and you can feel a pulse. Let me show this I don't have people. one. Uh-oh, CPR, here we go, no. Um, uh, and you can actually tell. You've got about 10 seconds. Think about it. When this happens, even in a hospital, listen, I'm a cardiac uh, physician. I've taken care of people who have died right in the hospital. Every time it happens, even with trained individuals, you get chaos. I want you to remember you have 10 seconds still. 10 seconds because sometimes the heart is just beating slowly. It's not stopped. Mm -hmm. If you start pressing on somebody's chest that's just sort of passed out, you're gonna, you know, they might hit you in the face, mm. right? So 10 seconds, and if you don't feel a pulse, we gotta get CPR. You take the palm of a hand, you put it in the middle of the chest, go ahead and do that for me, and then you're gonna support it with this other hand, just like this, right? And then with your arms locked, you're gonna go hard and fast, right in the middle. Push, and you're gonna go about 100 beats per minute. What does that mean? Well, we like the song, the BG song. Ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Ah, ah, ah. Right? Okay, so that's about 100 beats per minute. The better you do this, the better they're going to have a chance of survival without brain damage. Oh, well, what if you can't find the pulse there? Yeah, so like, if you I can't, can't find, find Yeah, so that's a really good point. If you can't find the pulse there, there is one other place I want you to try to check. The arm along the, the thumb is the so called radial artery, so you're going to try to push right in there and see if a person has a pulse, but really the best pulse to check is in the neck. So you want to practice on yourself, get your finger up there, can I feel my own pulse, check on the other side. If you're feeling your own pulse, you have one, right? Then you're, mm -hmm. not, you're not passed mm -hmm. out. So you want to just see if you can do that. And if you can do it for yourself, you can do it for others. Mm -hmm. If there's long periods of time and the person's not doing anything, start CPR. If they're awake, they'll, they'll jump up and tell you that okay. they're awake. Okay, all right, I have more questions, but we have to go. So thank you for joining us. I love you so much. I to get more information too. on heart health, follow Dr. Dapper Dave on Instagram at the good Dr. Dave. And remember, the conversation continues at Sister Circle Live on all social media platforms. Dr. Dave, what about the breath thing? They do this. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no more mouth to mouth. No more mouth to ever. No more mouth to mouth. We're done. What?